And a good spiritual morning to you once again. Thank you for joining me today from my new studio. And of course, we're playing a little fast and loose with the word studio. But anyway, thanks for joining me for a morning cup of coffee. And uh, if you've been watching these videos for a while, you know, for the past, I know, several months, uh, I've been putting these out from my office at church. Became a little difficult with some sound uh, distractions and difficulties to do that. And so this space became available. It's basically a, a free room uh, in the house that I'm renting, the basement of the house that I'm renting. So I thought I would turn it into a new studio of sorts and make some upgrades. And people say, hey, we love seeing those mugs that you use. So here's a little display of some of the mugs that I use. And I was having some issues with the sound. Still do from time to time, but I thought I would upgrade to a podcast microphone here on a boom. And uh, so for the first episode from our new location, I thought I'd do something a little bit more fun, a little bit more relaxed, um, and talk about one of these new shows that is streaming from Disney+, Plus, and it's through Marvel, and it's the Loki show, Loki, that's streaming on Disney+. Plus. Is it good? Is it bad? Uh, is there something that I can, you know, talk about um, and, and recommend? Is it redeemable? What do I think of it? So first and foremost, as far as these superhero shows go, it's got a high production value. It's well, well done. It's well written. It's well acted. Uh, looks very well done. It's engaging. It's entertaining, uh, which is more than I can say for most of the other shows that they've tried to put out. This is one of the better ones from that point of view. Is there anything challenging about it or anything to be careful of or to look out for? Yes, uh, I would say be careful of this sort of underlying veiled agenda regarding uh, religious relativism. Um, so just to sort of clarify that a little bit, uh, to understand the storyline, the main character Loki has moved outside of time. He travels through time from time to time and has discovered this, this sort of world that uh, exists because of these three sort of deities, the timekeepers, as they're called, and they've created other sort of lesser beings that go in and out of time to make sure that everything is running smoothly, to avoid chaos. They come in and out of recorded history uh, from the secret world, world, and the whole point of this is to avoid chaos and that everything can culminate in sort of a, a, a peaceful resolution. And, well, you can see a little bit of some of the difficulty there and, and how it's, um, you know, a little bit of a mirroring of Christian theology. There's three deities, um, in a sense, and they've created these lesser beings that move in and out of time to help, uh, you know, humanity, and um, all to be able to avoid chaos and move toward a peaceful resolution. And so, yes, we, we think of the Holy Trinity, we think of the angels, we think of the kingdom of heaven. Um, and But what I'm talking about, about in terms of a, an agenda regarding uh, relativism is because at one point, I think it's in the second episode, there's this discussion that goes back and forth about belief systems and, and about doesn't matter what you believe in. All of them seem uh, just, just as unbelievable or extraordinary to other people. But as long as you believe it and it works for you so that you're able to understand how chaos can be turned into a peaceful resolution, then, hey, it's valid. It's great. It works. And, and it's, it's all the same. Well, it's not really what we believe as Orthodox Christians. We confess of course, Jesus Christ crucified and resurrected for the salvation of the world. We believe in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And we believe that not because it happens to be our perspective and it works for us. We believe it because it's true. We believe it to be the truth, and we're trying to confess the truth. And that doesn't mean that we judge other people that don't believe that and say, hey, if you don't believe that, that means you're not going to heaven. We don't say that. But we do say that we confess it and we believe it not because it happens to work for us, um, and that if you believe in something else, it's the same thing and, e and equally valid. We believe it because we believe that to be the truth. And, uh, and, and so you have to be careful of that as you're watching the show. If you are watching it and you're aware of that and you're looking for some hidden agendas from time to time, then it's okay. As I said, it's entertaining. There's some high production value. Uh, and it's okay to watch. Just be a little bit, um, you know, careful about some of the, the hidden metaphorical agendas, especially uh, for our uh, young adults and our teenagers who might not be looking for those things. It's a, a little bit insidious in how it can just be kind of put out there and generally just accepted, that it doesn't matter what God you believe in or if you believe in God at all. As long as it works for you, it's all good. And that's not what we confess or believe as Orthodox Christians. Uh, so we have to look out for that and be careful of that. Once again, may our Lord and Savior bless us and keep us this day and every day. Amen.